Hi guys, today we're going to discuss the best ways for you and your teammates to strengthen your defenses in the finals. I will go through some of my best recent clips to show you and demonstrate how high rank players strategize, organize and implement their cash out captures in the most efficient way possible. I strongly advise you to pay strong attention to every clip because they were selected in a way for you to see that there is currently a recipe in the game to reach success and you missing out on any of them could result in a huge difference in the heat of the moment approach this in a way that I haven't seen on YouTube yet and instead of focusing on the big picture focus on the smaller details that you might have missed out on so you understand the mindset of high rank players and how they actually approach this victory. In this specific episode we're going to focus on the defense aspect of the game which is a key factor of the finals and will in future episodes focus maybe more on the offensive side of things. On a separate note we've only cashed out $3,330 right now and we desperately need more for victory. Smash that subscribe button if you want to help me get there. Let's jump right in. Enjoy the video. Let's push this. Okay, let me start by explaining how we're going to do this. We're going to stop and go on the video so that I can take the time to explain to you exactly what is happening in the game, what my teammates mindset is and what I am thinking about doing. The point here is to give you the full explanation of what the details are hidden behind every action and every call out we make throughout those clips. Please bear with me for having to pause the video a few times. Let's start here with this simple one. Every single second counts in the finals, so make sure to use yours and your teammates' gadgets properly to gain that precious second that could lead you to victory. Very interesting, very fast. Oh, we got it. We got it. This is actually quite important. My teammate here believes that one minute means the end of the game and that we have already lost. If you're always aware of the time remaining, this gives you the possibility to create a plan that is actually realizable within that time frame. Make sure to always stay aware of how much time is remaining and what is doable within that time frame. Got it. He's close. They're trying to open it right now. This is what I call looking for information ahead of time. Here, thanks to this very precise and concise call out, before entering the room, that there is a team trying to do the exact same thing as us. This gives us the possibility to react instead of feeling the pressure once inside the room. Someone's warming into a vault. It's the Vogues. Watch out, if there's one, there's probably three. At least they got barricades up. I'll put it at the last second, yeah? This was quick, but you might not have realized we have just made a plan. We've called out that we will put the cash out at the last second to shorten the time of the cash out from 130 seconds down to 71 seconds. It's critical for our victory. We're down to the last 30 seconds. Yeah, you can throw it. Yeah. Right, it's okay, it's okay, we got time. Throw it! I'm here, I'm here, bro. Here, my teammates know that being the one moving the vault means that I will probably and surely be the last one in the line. They are trying to support me in any way possible, and that's why they are asking for me to throw the vault so that they can put it in and keep me safe while I'm under attack. Totally. I'm gonna wait till the last second. Let me explain this concept a little more in depth. The normal time for a cash out is 130 seconds. The maximum time for the extra time period is 60 seconds. If you wait for the last second before the end of the match, the system will automatically shorten the time frame of the full cash out from 130 to 61 seconds because this is the only available time remaining in the match. On top of that, the loading of the cash out doesn't change depending on how much time it takes to take the full loading. This means that most of the time, the other teams could be caught off guard thinking that this is a 130 second cash out, while well, in reality, it will go down twice faster and this can lead to an easy victory. Alright boys, 70 seconds, that's all we need. Craft B, be wary on the healing, yeah? What, B? B, like, we need to be strong on the healing, they're all gonna push us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have 30 seconds left and we're good. 
IPS on on me if you want. We will see better example in future clips, but always make sure that this time frame where you're waiting for people to attack you is used correctly. Set up your defenses in the strongest possible way to make sure that you have everything it takes to resist to that final push. Good evening, B. How you gonna doing, my boy? Thanks for joining, bro. In in this guy somewhere. Yeah, I hear him on the left side somewhere. We're capturing. Pink team here, just behind the house. Okay, shield guy is dead. At this moment, we know that we're only a few seconds from ensuring our victory. Out of those four enemies spotted, the only one that could have been a real danger to capturing the cash out is the one with the shield, which is why we set priority as to which one should be targeted and actually don't even care about the others. We got it, boys, we got it. There you go. Yeah, let's... I don't know, yeah, let's... This is a golden opportunity. As you can see here, we have two full teams facing off each other without necessarily having seen us, which gives us the huge advantage of having a very strong flank, but also a very strong high vantage point. Let's double it, let's double it. There is a word. I'm getting the last pink. Oh no, there's two pinks left. One left. This is important risk management. Always make sure to evaluate the potential risk of death again towards capturing the objective if you're going to push solo. I'm going to push, push. There you go. Other team, other team. Let's go for it. One dead. Make sure to assess the situation rapidly and always prioritize the easiest person to kill or at least the one with the most value. Here, the one capturing. Tank is dead. GG boys. Purple are coming back. Kill me up. This is similar to the previous clip. Use this calm time to analyze the situation and regroup as well as reform your defenses. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, we got APS, every APS, kill APS, except APS, one. APS, APS. Motion is English, but lives in France. You guys are way too not knowledgeable. Wait, after that run, they still want to push us? Are you joking? As you will see in the next coming seconds, here we have a sort of relay action where one takes the hit, uses that time to fire at the enemy, and then backs behind the barricade to defend himself while healing the other one, who takes over the DPS action for a few seconds. One dead. Two dead. There's a pink team here. Get back, Chip, get back, bro. As I'm sure you know, the finals is a very team-oriented type of game, and because of the heat of the action, players will tend to ungroup or unphase themselves from the rest of their team, so do not hesitate to call out regrouping as often as necessary. Red team again. Oh, they got me, I'm out. I just use my defib, bro. I can't get you up. Yeah, play cash, play cash. Play. If there is one thing you should take out of this clip, it's probably this one. Do not forget that the most important for your victory is the objective, not the kill count. At this specific time, we know that we only need to resist a few more seconds to win, and it doesn't matter to kill the enemy. All we need to do is make sure they lose as much time as possible. Disrupt them however you can. Yes. No way! <laughs>
That is the most annoying laugh I've ever heard. Purple team. Yeah, they're waiting for us. At this point in time, my team is coming in hot because they have the intention to capturing the point. Make sure to share your intel to avoid them from making this mistake that you already had done. Let them score it if they want. This is key to your victory. Do not ever hesitate to make callouts if no one else in your team is doing them. The game relies around the teamwork and the stronger you make it, the easier your game will be. Watch out, you're a bit ahead, bro. Keep in mind that one of the easiest ways to ensure victory is to make sure that you keep your survivability as high as possible. Your gadgets have a maximum range, so make sure to keep as tight as possible with the rest of your team at any given time. They've got an RPG. At this point in the clip, you will see that I take a step away from my team for multiple reasons. The first one being that I know that my teammate is quite strong in attack and DPS and so I trust him to take this one-on-one, -on -one, but also because I do see an opportunity to take the rest of his team, which is probably behind this one, by the left side of the map. As said previously, make sure to analyze quickly the options available for you and take the best one possible to ensure the path to victory. As you will see here, my teammate jumped in the front line. This means that I probably have a very good opportunity to let him tank damage and give me kills instead of him. But in reality, in the ranked game, as said previously, what matters is not your kills. I will here put priority on being the support and keeping him alive, leaving him the opportunity to finish his action and get us towards this team kill. Okay, we dead. I got you, I got you, I got you. Watch out for the mines. We got the statue here. He's behind. Going for him. At this point, the enemy is very much under pressure. They are destabilized. One is very low and running away, while the other one ends up in a one versus two in a very close quarter fight. Use this to your advantage to push the enemy together and finish the entire team. One's low as fuck. What the fuck? No. Did he die from it? Oh yeah, he died. No, he didn't. Kill me up, bro. The powerhouses are back in full numbers after being down to one contested. Do you have your defib? As much as possible, always be aware of your teammates loadouts and the cooldown on their gadgets. In this specific case, this gives me the opportunity to let him go for the respawn while I will take care of the pushing enemy team. Tank dead. Yeah, we did again. He's reanimating the tank. Good job. The boundless will need to reboot. Team wipes. Alright, how do I do this? It's in. The mighty maker holds straight with the first capture of the match. There you go. The mighty are seizing the lead. Yeah, whatever. I think we're good. Purple will have time to try again. Finally, always make sure to be aware of the finals respawn mechanics and the respawn statuses of the enemy teams to be able to prepare your defenses correctly and in a timely manner, so that you are not surprised when the enemy will be pushing your... How are they back already, bro? Come on, five more seconds. Yep, let's go. GG boys, nice push. 
So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this new format. Please let me know in the comment section what is your best insights to ensure that you reach victory and share this with the rest of the community so that we all grow together. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing to the channel as we release content every single week with the intent to bring you as much insights about the game as possible. At this point, the only thing remaining to be said is that I will see you on the next one.